You want to avoid tight coupling in software development because coupling complicates testing by not allowing you to mock collaborating objects. Coupling is usually demonstrated by one class newing up its own dependencies within the constructor or method. That means you'll be testing much more than just a unit of interest. And this is obviously a bad practice. So instead, you're told that dependency injection is a best practice, but assembling the objects is now a pain, so we leverage dependency injection containers to wire things up for us and pass back a complete object. This is also known as the inversion of control principle. With that in place, you can add as many dependencies as you want because the DI container is going to do all the heavy lifting for you. At this point, you can forget all about other design patterns and boast about how great a software developer you are because you have effortlessly applied DI and IRC to your enterprise Hello World console application. The issues start to arise again once your dependencies require dependencies of their own and tests relying on dependency containers break. You can deal with this problem just by passing in nulls if you know those dependencies aren't used for the operation under test. Or you can solve the problem by creating your own custom auto mock injector. And that way you'll never have to think about dependencies again.